hello welcome to back again to my channel so i am omkar so we we'll continue with the series with aws lambda and today we'll learn about how to create the im role uh, that is related with the lambda so that with the use of that role we can access the aws related service so we'll concentrate on aws s3 bucket so the once uh, role has been assigned to that lambda it can be easily to access that uh, s3 bucket using the lambda function okay so let's get started on the aws home page hope you are logged into this aws log home page and you must check the region so roles and other things are depend on the region so make sure you have the correct region while selecting then here type iam it's iam service it will manage the access service uh, all that is related with aws service so you can say aws resources just click on this iam role then it will show the iam dashboard so currently my root user is mfa that two factor authentication is enabled and here you will see the multiple options so we need to click on this roles okay and here you will see the default dashboard previously i created one basic role for the lambda you need we need to create the similar one okay now just create on the create role it will open the create role dashboard for us here then uh, we need to uh, select the trusted entity type default will be the aws service as we need to consider it related with the ec2 lambda and other s3 bucket and other things okay then here use cases so what we need to do we need to allow the lambda function to access aws related services just click on the lambda then service uh, here there are the multiple services so we need to scroll down scroll down and come at the bottom we need to select the s3 s3 is the bucket where all the storage has been happening and we need to work on that i will give the permission allow s3 to call aws services on behalf okay yeah this one no this one we need to check only lambda okay don't go further yeah now click on next it will go to the next page here you see there are total 830 policies that is related with the lambda and aws and other things you we need to filter out and we need to select that is related with a s3 just click and hit enter it will give the information if you expand a little bit you will see aws s3 full access you need to check this checkbox enabled it will give the full access to the all buckets by aws console management okay with this means once role has been created we can add this role to the lambda okay then you check other things yeah we do, uh, this is optional so we don't go inside that right now just click then click on next then here you will see that whatever information has been created just give the meaningful name like lambda s3 full access role give the meaningful rooms uh, meaningful name so that in future if you need you can use and able to access clearly and here whatever we information created using the dashboard it will show it in this designer format like we are giving the access to this lambda function and whatever things version number that has been defined okay and permission that is the policy amazon s3 full access okay and if you want to add in tag you can add tag tag is specified like uh, s3 access lambda that is optional but if you need you can add so in future uh, if you uh, project has been used then with this key you can easily identify okay now just click on create role it will going to create the role sometimes it will take time let me check again yeah we need to i think this one extra we don't need this one right now yeah so it's now started to creating the role lambda s3 full access role the name is here so it will take us like a five to ten second max and role will be yeah so here you can see a new role has been created this one lambda s3 full access role if you click on that you see the whatever information uh, arn is also important as similar to the lambda function this lambda role will also get a unique arn and with that we can use 
and whatever permissions and additional settings we can do okay so with this uh, we are giving this full access role to the lambda but one more thing is pending like uh, we created the role but we need to assign that to the lambda function so just go to the lambda service again and in that lambda uh, we have already uh, one lambda function has been created or we can create the new one chip so we'll use the existing one okay this one here just we need to scroll down and we need to modify and sign that role if you go down let me check let me check where it is permissions monitor allies okay test test okay all this version is okay let me check all properties are there runtime settings layers okay Oh, we'll do one thing we'll do we create a fresh one is top going back and forth okay so yeah, as you know you know how to create the function my second lambda and create any so i will know about the python basics so we'll use the python whatever version supported you can use i will select this one and i will create the function here role here at the drop down you can see use an existing role if you click on it it will show here yeah here you see lambda s3 full access role has been given and once we create function it will create the lambda function that has the full access to the s3 bucket okay so with this uh, we are completed with the im role uh, where that need to provide the additional permission to the lambda that can be accessed the s3 bucket okay Thank you guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.